What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Miles World. Today we're going to be talking about EA Sports and the patch of the RPO glitch now. A lot of you guys are going to be like, yo, g Maya, they already said they patched it. One of the things that you're going to have to understand with EA Sports, when something is going to be patched, it's not necessarily true that they actually fix the problem. They just make it a little bit less effective. In this case right now, with the RPO, they pretty much took away the ability to actually pump fake on certain RPOs, but on a lot of them, including Glance, um, you know, it's the wing slot week. They were able to still go ahead and just hold on to the ball, the quarterback, and if you had super fast quarterbacks like, you know, Michael Vick, this new Lamar Jackson, you can just run. And what happens is the defense doesn't react to the to the quarterback. Um, that's going to be supposedly fixed. Uh, they have a lot of other things going on. For those of you guys that are asking about the run commit glitch, a lot of MCS players have been, you know, that I've played against, they run it. And it's very effective at stopping the run and also playing coverage. I'm not sure about that. Some of you guys that have, you know, um, you know, you guys are frustrated with it, like you're playing guys and they're doing it. That's actually been in the game for a while. Um, going back to Madden 17, you could actually run commit glitch the run and play coverage. It's just that sometimes, you know, as the years go on, it's not as prevalent, but it's usually always in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like once something is in there, it's very, very hard for them to actually take it all the way away. So that's one of the things that we're dealing with right now at this moment. We don't actually know exactly what is going to be fixed and what's not going to be fixed, but we know that they're putting a patch out for it. So that's one of the major things that are going on right now. I'm going to actually go through the daily challenges today. Uh, you guys should have probably um, completed them already uh, with the heavyweights. Oh no, it's the veterans today, right? I think it's the veterans. Yeah, so it's the weekly veterans. Uh, also, I want to show you guys what's going on with that because some of you guys are going to be able to get the free player, I believe, in one more week. So let me just double check that. Yep. Next week, you're going to be able to pick a wild card player from any of the wild cards for the previous four weeks. Many of you guys have been getting the free cards, and you're like, yo, Gmaya, thank you for putting me on. Some of you guys that have not been taking advantage of that, you're really just missing out. So we're going to go ahead as we go through these, I'll talk about um, what's actually going on within the game. All right, so now with the RPO being uh, fixed, what's going to happen next is this. They're going to finally reset the levels. Now, I know you 2K players, yo, g Maya, we're all the way on level 3. Ha, 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 you EA guys are on level 2. Uh, well, you know, season 2, whatever, right? That's fine, all right? Somebody messed up within the EA Mutt team to where they didn't have everything ready to go, and they probably were just like, look, we got to just, you know, we're going to just leave it the way it is, bro. Like, we're never going to, what the, yo, why did they change my stuff up? I don't know what this is, dude. Dude, my, my defense is all messed up, but whatever, don't matter. Um, so that's pretty much probably what happened with that. I don't really understand what else could have been the problem, other than the fact that obviously it just wasn't ready to go out, and um, that's why it's delayed. But the levels will be getting reset. Um, a lot of you guys that are looking forward to doing that, I'm going to give you guys some hints uh, to kind of help you guys going forward. Uh, EA is looking to ban you, all right? If you guys, some of you guys were using bots, um, you know, various things were going on. I'm going to let you guys know, they are not playing games. Um, so if you are planning on leveling up, you want to be very, very careful with it. Okay, however you guys are doing it, I'm just letting you know because part of the reason why a lot of the players that are actually in the MCS had major issues was because their accounts were originally banned. EA did lift some of the bans later because there were ways to actually level up quickly. Um, but even with all of that, what the, I gotta get a sack or two tackles? Dude, are you serious right now? Um, yeah, with the way that it was set up, it was almost impossible for people to be able to figure out how to level up without possibly getting banned. Because EA made it so difficult to do, um, you know, they just started going around banning accounts. So a lot of you guys that, you know, some of you guys that probably did it legitimately, you probably still got banned. And, um, you know, realistically, when you look at it, the way that they had it set up, you shouldn't have been able to just level up in one day. You know what I'm saying? It should have taken a little bit more time. It's not the leveling up of old. So the way that they have it set up, you probably, it's probably going to take you a, maybe a week, two weeks, something like that. Nobody should be able to just go ahead and go out there and do whatever they want to do. You know, pretty much. You know what I'm saying? So... When you guys go through it this time, it's the same scenario. It's going to go drop back down to zero. You're going to have to go all the way back up to 50. But I have learned and showed you guys uh, throughout the process that it is much easier to do it in certain ways. And one of those ways is using the missions tab. Completing the missions and getting that boatload of XP all at once is huge. For those of you guys that are new to the channel, I will go over it again because that's what really helped me towards the end, uh, being able to do that. Um, it was something that, you know, with the way the game is, 
trust me, going through the missions tab and just completing that and getting all the... Oh, wait a minute. Did I actually uh, not have Plaxico Burst in my line? I gotta, I gotta put Plaxico Burst back in the game. Um, unless I'm at 50, 50, uh, unless I'm at 55 players, uh, 55 players. Because I have a new scheme, guys, for those of you guys that are wondering. Why am I using Teddy Bridgewater? Dude, I don't ever... What the heck? Dude, why am I using Teddy Bridgewater? Why is he even a card that I ever use at any time? This dude, Teddy Tapwater, dude. Anyway, um, my new scheme is all tight ends and, um, you know, running the ball with bow and throwing streaks. So when I'm playing these challenges, because it's arcade mode, just to make it easier, I just put in the faster players. That's pretty much all it is. All right. I'm not doing anything out of the ordinary. Out of the ordinary. It's nothing special. When you're playing challenges, just put fast players in and that's it. I will go over my new scheme, but I did already show it to you guys. For those of you guys that are already subscribed and join me every morning as we go live, you guys already know what the new scheme is. For those of you guys that don't, you're gonna probably have to wait. Hold on, what is, a lot, oh, a wallow, who the hell? Dude, I don't even know who these players are, man. I gotta be totally honest. I don't know who these players are, dude. All right, it doesn't matter. What do we have to do? We have to get a user tackle or a sack or something like that? All right, so um, getting back to everything else that's going on with the level, so, but uh, it's gonna be happening next week. So next week I will get, what the hell? Dude, they're gonna give me the, what just happened? Am I gonna get the completion for that? Did they give it to me or did I fail? All right, good. Um, pass for 10 yards, let's play score, pass a TD, that's right, all right. So, realistically, what we're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to take a look at that season two, season three missions tab and see what's available. And that's the way we're gonna level up fast. With everything else that comes out after that, I think we're gonna have to play the game a little differently after tomorrow's update. We're gonna see if it actually works, but taking glance out of the game is probably gonna make a lot of you guys very happy because from all the feedback that I got, everybody hates it. You know what I'm saying? Dudes running around, running glance, doing whatever they want. And um, a lot of you guys just like, yo, Gmai, I'm not do. Why do I have Teddy Tapwater as my QB, dude? Bro, all right, just, just please, Randy, please, just outrun him, bro. Go for six, too. Go for six. Yeah, so we have the patch and we have the level, the level reset coming next week. All right, what a, again, what everybody needs to understand is this. I'm gonna lay out everything the way that it should be laid out so that nobody has an issue leveling up. Please, just understand what I'm trying to tell you right now. Anybody that's like, you like, yo, Gma, I ain't use no bot, I got banned. Listen, bro, if you level up in one day and you get banned, please do not tag me on Twitter. Just, just don't do it, dude. Cause like, you know, I helped to get a few guys unbanned the last go around, I'm not doing it again. Like, dude should not be leveled up in, like, one day, dude. Like, if you do that, like, you want another level. And I can't really... It's just too much stuff going on. Like, I I can't argue with EA about dudes running around with that kind of level up action. Like, that's just too much. So, we're not going to do that. But, like I said, again, we will get all that laid out. Um, I will be live around the time that the patch goes live. So, we will actually ex experiment with the patch together. Okay. Okay, dude, just... Let me just hit stick him, please. Can I just can I just hit stick this guy, please, bro? I, look, dude, it's one fumble. That's all I need. Can I just get my? Okay, why are you moving over there? Why why did he just move over there? It, it's Tom Brady. He's gonna throw the ball super fast, bro. He's throwing the ball too. Okay, he's getting sacked. Cool. Um, you know, regardless of the situation, I think we're gonna be fine. I know a lot of you guys are worried about it, but I think we're gonna be fine. Those of you guys that are asking about the players now, that's another thing I wanted to bring up. Uh, will we get upgrades to Devin Hester, Junior Seau, whoever you picked? More than likely we will. The amount is going to be what's going to be interesting. Because right now, because we have 95 overall players and they delayed it so much, I don't know exactly what their plan is for that. But we will be getting more than likely, you know, higher overall players. Just just put it like that, guys. It's not. It's no way possible they let us wait a whole extra month of a delay and not give us a 95 overall, either level up, uh, level master or something like that. So... I wouldn't worry about that too much. I will continue to stay updated. Uh, keep you guys updated with that info. All you guys have to do, make sure you follow me on social media, at G Miles World, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, all that good stuff. I, bro, Teddy Tapwater? Who would I pick from this? Maybe Kyle Rudolph. Um, so that's pretty much it. Make sure you're getting your challenges done. Next week, we get a free card uh, from the wild card uh, from any of the, the previous four weeks. And that's pretty much it. We got the patch. We got levels reset coming soon. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your holiday season. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.